Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you guys how to make this super delicious honey old bay shrimp. This recipe is extremely easy. Can't wait to show you how to make it. If you like today's recipe, please don't forget to leave a like and let's jump right in to the recipe. All right guys, let's begin. I'm using one pound of large and deveined shrimp. I drizzle some olive oil on there, mix it up, then I'm going to season with these seasoning right here. I'm using onion and garlic powder, paprika, ground black pepper, dry parsley, and some seasoned salt. Just sprinkle it on there, mix it up together so we can have a nicely seasoned shrimp. All of the ingredients and the measurement will be found in the description box below. Once I'm done seasoning the shrimp, I am going to cook it. I have a skillet on medium high heat. I am going to drizzle about three to four tablespoons of oil on there. Once it's nice and hot, we're going to place the shrimp in there. Now I'm going to cook the shrimp for about one minute to a minute and a half per side. Once they're done cooking, I am going to flip it over, of course, allow the other side to cook. Once it's done cooking, I am going to remove the shrimp and set it aside. Now this will be one of the most easiest recipe you'll ever, like you'll ever make in your entire life. This recipe is so effortless and it's so delicious, okay? So once one side is nice and pink, <laughs> I was going to say golden brown, but pink. When it's nice and pink, just flip it over. And now I'm going to remove the shrimp, set them aside. And then to the same skillet, I am going to add about four tablespoons of butter. Okay, this is unsalted butter, by the way. I'm going to allow that to melt. Once melted, you are going to grab yourself some pure honey. Okay, I'm using about three, about two to three tablespoons of pure honey. Add that in there. Now, the main ingredients for this recipe is the Old Bay. It has such a unique flavor. I am going to add about half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning in there. You can find it at any grocery store or you can find it online. I'll place it somewhere on the screen for you guys if you wanna buy it on Amazon or something. Also, I added a little bit of water. You can add chicken broth just to make it a little bit more saucy. And then I added some lemon juice in there, squeezed some fresh lemon juice. And you guys, this recipe is so delicious. Let me tell you, if you want a nice kick, you can add some dry pepper flakes or cayenne peppers to this. But let me tell you, this is one of the recipe you guys have to try because I'm going to recommend it to you. And hopefully you try it and come back and let me know. It's so easy to make, yet so flavorful, so delicious, okay? And I'm going to add some fresh parsley on there and basically turn off your stove. Your food is ready, okay? Your food is ready. And basically that is it. How beautiful is this? Let me know what you're gonna eat this with. You can have this with some broccoli, mashed potatoes. It's so easy, you can have it by itself too. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And leave a like for me because I need you guys to help me out. I need to know if you guys like my videos. So leave a like 
And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Bye, guys. <laughs>